Adolescence and Puberty, a podcast created and presented by Emma O'Connell, Roisin Reardon and Emma O'Carroll. As children, we have dreams of what we want to be and who we aim to be when we grow up. But what about the growing up part itself? It's not as simple as getting from childhood to adulthood and a crucial step along the way involves a mandatory process called puberty. But first, we must ask ourselves, what is puberty? You may have a million questions running through your mind while going through this initial change, such as, is this normal? And when will this change end? But puberty is merely the process of physical, mental and emotional change by which a child's body becomes an adult. Teenagers may lose a sense of oneself during this time as they leave their childhood and begin to readjust to a life of more responsibilities and autonomy. As we age, according to Erickson, we increase in complexity as human beings and we aim to make this transition as smooth as possible during adolescence to prevent the need for external intervention. As well as psychological changes, differences can be seen on a physical level, also in both male and female bodies. Girls begin puberty two years before boys, averaging at about 10 years old. While girls reach their final height by age 15 to 16, boys don't stop growing until around age 19. Primary and secondary sex characteristics develop as well as growth spurts in height and internal organs. In females, primary sex characteristics include menarch and development of the uterus and ovaries. In males, primary sex characteristics include spermarch and enlargement of the testes. Factors influencing rate of development and onset of puberty include genes, the environment, secular trends, ethnicity, and geography of the individual. In the brain, the prefrontal cortex located in the frontal lobe undergoes its own metamorphosis. This occupies 30% of the brain and directs and maintains information, keeps ideas in mind, holds capacity for empathy, guilt, and a sense of self, and also controls planning and higher order activities. During puberty, there is an increase in white matter and a certain number of synapses. These are responsible for functions, including the inhibition of inappropriate behaviour leading to the difficulty of reading social situations for adolescents. This inappropriate behaviour can be seen most often at home, which may lead to conflict between parents and teenagers. The feeling of being misunderstood and the want to distance yourself from your caregivers during this time is a completely natural process in order to help teenagers create their own beliefs and personality, in order to find themselves in their own world, rather than just a carbon copy of their parents or guardians. However, we must take care of our physical and emotional well-being at this time, as although we are all going through puberty, some may have different experiences than their peers, which may lead to mental health difficulties. Almost 75% of all mental disorders first emerge between the ages of 15 and 25. There are certain risk factors which may increase the development of mental health issues during adolescence, including low self-esteem, communication difficulty, and academic failure. As future educators, we must ask ourselves how we can incorporate this information to teenagers in our classroom. Through relating this to the curriculum in biology and SPHE, educational videos, additional guidance within and outside the classroom, and also just the knowing that there is a teacher to talk to, students may feel more comfortable during this stage of growing up together. Adolescents can continue until 25 years old, and the census of 2016 finds that people under this age represent a third of the Irish population. Out of this, it is found that 75% of girls have reported experience low self-esteem. 50 to 80% feel negative about their body size, and only a third of teenage girls say that they are the right weight for their bodies. This dysmorphic view of oneself is also seen in teenage boys, as over 33% of males believe their current body size is too small. Research has also shown this low self-esteem has also been linked to teenage pregnancy abusive substances including alcohol, prescription and illegal drugs. More than 25% of Irish teens began drinking at 13 or under. Drinking rates are higher in girls than boys, which may lead to infertility issues and substance abuse disorders in both sexes. More than two-thirds of those that take part in drug abuse first did so at 16 or younger. One in six 15-year-olds feel like an outsider. In the classroom, just under 17% of students feel alienated. In Ireland, one out of seven teenagers are being bullied regularly. Sources of stress for students include anxiety about schoolwork and income. Those who believe themselves to be less wealthy than most of their classmates tend to report lower satisfaction with life. 
Going through puberty isn't easy, but with the right knowledge and support systems, we can help each other get through it. Life is a journey with problems to solve, lessons to learn and experiences to enjoy, so make the most of it.